next video i am going to develop classification logistic regression machine learning model with the help of spark and lib framework in java so i am going to use one bank transaction fraud data set and if you would have watched my previous video i have already explained from end to end from kafka to from kafka to spark how to develop how to create this data set but anyhow uh, i am going to share this data set and the complete the code in the github yeah and i will give all the detail in the uh, video descriptions so what i will do i will take one uh, data set and next step i will do the data preparation means all the string value and other values should be converted into the number system right number then i will split the data in the training and that test data right then i will create the model um logistic regression model i am going to create and then i will check the accuracy of the model okay once accuracy is okay then i will save the model and i fetch the model and i will take one new data set and check the prediction with the new data set so it would be the complete hands on end to end dev of the data uh, machine learning model uh, classification logistic so let us start the code go and create the new project so new project choose the maven project and then choose the next and artifact name let me give spark underscore ml any name you can give and he's saying that okay so change some name spark ml then go here and uh, we need the java 8 okay so uh, set the properties for the java 8 because we are going to use uh, uh, some java 8 uh, functionality so like the lambda expression i set it here and you should also change the jrv to the java.8 so java 8 that's it okay yes now go the pom.xml and you have to add the two dependency be careful when you choose the dependency okay so let me increase the font now yeah so what you have to do go come here and add just this two dependency okay so this two dependency okay. be careful with the version number it's very sensitive spark for the version number okay and then uh, go here create one java file one is sufficient uh, uh, for our this hands on name uh, any name you can give spark mweave logistic classification okay and let me copy paste the code i will explain all the code here completely okay so that's it now uh, let me explain each and everything how it is work so these are the required uh, you know, import files you have to import that i have divided this code in the five six phases what i will do in first phase i will create the java spark contest that is required for the any spark uh, coding right you need the java spark contest then i have taken one master file data set let me copy this uh, master csv into our project so i have kept here uh, okay it is here okay this master set let me copy and put it in the root and if you want to see this data set i will come back later so then what you have to do you have to uh, data preparation or the string you have to convert to the, into the number and you have to also differentiate between the features and the label right that we will do in this page then we will split the uh, data set into the training data set and uh, a test data set and then you are going to save the model 
and retrieve the model that part i have skipped out but method is there i will share the code just to in taste of the time then i will take one uh, new data set new data to check uh, whether my model is working or not and then we will do the prediction with the data set so let us start so what i am going to do i am creating one uh, spark contest this is the code uh, to generate the uh, create the spark contest right and this is the important for any spark coding and then uh, uh, that important part is that the uh, let me go in different uh, this is the important part how we are going to uh, data preparation how you are going to do that so i will take the input file and convert or and fetch the data okay and in the spark when you use the text file it will uh, convert into the java rdt right and these are the complete string each line is the string as a first phase a uh, first row i will show the data set if you see this is the data set actually so if you see the first row this is the header and we do not want to the header so i will remove the header right so now come here and see uh, i am going to remove the header this part now what i am going to do we have the type payment uh, type of the mode of transaction payment cash out debit cash out payment so these are the string right we have to convert into the number so what i have done here <coughs> if the value is the payment convert into one so i convert into the number right then i is creating the data so right now this is the one string is the complete to one row right so i am going to split with the help of the comma this is the csv file and then converting each and everything into the double number so here you can see we have of the map to double i converting everything right then what i am doing so if you see we have eight uh, column 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 and till and this each fraud is the label right this is the target column so up to 7 if you see from 0 to 7 i create the feature and the last column is called the label okay and uh, then this is the data preparation is done so once your data preparation is done come this code i am splitting the data into 80 20 right so 80 part is the training data and 20 part is the test data then i am converting these uh, java rdd to the rdd why because when you use the logistic regression model in logistic regression model input should be rdd now you can see this is the class name and as this is the binary classification model even this is the optional if you want to give you this up to you by default the value is to for the target uh, categories class right and that you have to pass the training data this is the training data in our case right so now model has been created so now we have to check the model evolution so what you have to do i will pass the test data so this is the test data and then uh, it will uh, output is this uh, uh, in the pair with the form of the prediction and the actual label then you will use the multi class matrix to evaluate the model and we have found out the accuracy what is the accuracy and you can print the accuracy right and this is the method uh, who will save the model so nothing a model has one api to save and give the path which path he has to save it will save it and if you want to fetch so it's also easy so we have the uh, logistic regression model load it and give the path it will load that model we are not going to use these two method you can just copy paste and use that in your uh, coding now i am going to use the prediction with the new data set so i will pass the data set and i will pass the model also and and is i will see what is the uh, uh, that prediction right so the complete flow uh, i am going to run this code so again i want to speak i create the spark contest then i pass the data did the data preparation then i did the data split and create the model check the accuracy i pass the new test data and for the prediction and i will see what is the result of the prediction if everything fine then go and execute it
so and i am going to show the output so this is the output if everything is fine you can uh, and get your result in one shot okay so wow so you can see that the model accuracy is just 57 percent why because i am not passing the huge data so if you see i have only 30 record and 30 record is not should be sufficient for this uh, any good model right and that's why this is not there and that uh, what the data i was given here uh, this data for this data set it is saying that the uh, uh, prediction is the zero so prediction is either the zero on it is showing the zero that's it for this uh, uh, video and this is the base to create the any model in the spark and uh, uh, please subscribe uh, uh, click the subscribe button and like the button click the like button and if you have any questions any doubt please reach me out using the uh, uh, comment section okay and keep watching keep learning thank you very much